as we partake in the celebration of love let us all rise and joyfully sing the hymn children of god hymn number a 132 page 60 a 132 children of god here is only one gather round the table of the lord it his body drink his blood and will sing a song of love hallelujah 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 brother sisters we are one and our life has just begun in the spirit we are young we can live forever we offer this mass for the intention of Jacqueline and family. They want to thank and praise God for all the goodness and benevolence of the Lord that they have received. Let us join with them and praise and thank the Lord for his goodness and for his love. And let us also bring to the altar our personal intentions. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear friends, in, this, in the gospel today, Jesus reminds us of his uh, mission. He says, I've come to bring fire. I've come to suffer and die. I've come to bring division. These are the three dimensions that Jesus focuses today in the gospel. When Jesus loved us so much, by dying on the cross, he has showed his highest, the highest manifestation of his love. Every disciple is called to leave the mission that Jesus lived. We too are called to embrace his cross. We too are called to stand firm when people do not accept our message, the message that we have received from the Lord. As we take part in this Eucharist, let us ask the Lord to bless us with that zeal and fervor to remain faithful to the tasks entrusted to us to the mission entrusted to us. And for the times we have failed in this mission, for the times we lost our courage, we went away from him, for the times we have been unfaithful servants, let us ask for his pardon and mercy. All together, I confess, I confess to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask you, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Bring to mind your intention. Almighty, ever-living God, grant that we may always conform our will to yours and serve your majesty in sincerity of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, 
who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brethren, I bow my knees before the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth is named, that according to the riches of his glory, he may grant you to be strengthened with power through his spirit in your inner being, so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, that you, being rooted and grounded in the love, may have strength to comprehend with all the saints what is the breadth and length and height and depth, and to know the love of Christ that surpasses knowledge, that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. Now to him who is able to do far more abundantly than all that we ask or think, according to the power at work within us. To him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations forever and ever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Let our response be, the Lord's merciful love fills the earth. The Lord's, the Lord's merciful, merciful love fills the, the earth. earth. Ring out your joy to the Lord, O you just, for praise is fitting for the upright. Give thanks to the Lord upon the harp with a ten-string lute. Sing his songs. Our response. The Lord's the Lord merciful, merciful love fills the, the earth. For the word of the Lord is faithful and all his works to be trusted. The Lord loves justice and right, and his merciful love fills the earth. A response. The Lord's, the Lord's merciful, merciful love, love fills the earth. earth. The designs of the Lord stands forever. The plans of his heart from age to age. Bless the nation whose God is the Lord. Yes, the Lord's eyes are on those who fear him who hope in his merciful love to rescue their souls from death, to keep them alive in famine. Our response, the Lord's, the Lord's merciful, merciful love, love fills the earth. earth. Kindly stand. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. everything as loss because of the surpassing worth of knowing Christ Jesus my Lord and be founded in him. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory, Glory to, to you, Lord. O Lord. At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, I came to cast fire on the earth, and would that it were already kindled. I have a baptism to be baptized with, and how great is my distress until it is accomplished. Do you think that I have come to give peace on earth? No, I tell you, but rather division. For from now on, in one house, there will be five divided, three against two and two against three. They will be divided father against son, and son against father, mother against daughter, and daughter against mother, 
mother-in-law against her daughter-in-law and daughter-in-law against mother-in-law. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, as I have mentioned in the introduction, in today's gospel, Jesus unfolds the three dimensions of his mission. First, he says, I've come to bring fire. Second, I've come to suffer and die. I have to receive a baptism of suffering. And third, because of me, there will be division. Jesus is on the way to Jerusalem and he unfolds this missionary dimension. I have come to bring fire. Fire symbolizes here the passion that he has, the zeal that he has to accomplish the task. The mission God the Father has entrusted to Jesus, the salvific mission. And he is so passionate about that mission that he says, let this time be over soon. I want to achieve that mission. I want to complete the mission that is given to me. And he feels some sort of stress, anguish. This stress is not negative stress. This stress is a positive stress, which is called you stress. The negative stress is called distress. The word in the, the, word in the gospel is distress, but this has to be interpreted in a positive manner. The stress which helps you to do something, to perform an act. So Jesus is so much taken up by this mission that he says, I've come to bring that fire, fire of love. He wants to set ablaze the whole world with God's love. And therefore, that fire is that. I want to put uh, fire to everyone, fire of love. I want to burn everybody's heart with that love. That is what Jesus wants, wants uh, to say. Fire also symbolizes purification. This statement of Jesus echoes what John the Baptist said in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 3, verse 16. There we see John the Baptist saying, I am baptizing with water, but somebody else will come after me who will baptize you, baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. Fire is used to burn, to purify. So this fire is the gift of the Holy Spirit. With this gift, Jesus is going to purify us. He is going to help us to work for his mission. Every disciple will be receiving this gift of the fire, the Holy Spirit. The second mission, Jesus says, I've come to suffer and die. I want to receive this baptism very soon, the cup of suffering. Though on his journey in Gethsemane, he will say, Luke chapter 22, verse 42, Lord, take away this cup from me. So terrific is that sight. The very thought of that dying on the cross makes Jesus sweat blood. And yet, immediately he will say, not my will, thy will be done. But Jesus wants to embrace that cup of suffering and death because he loves us so much. And that is what we have heard in the first reading today. We don't know the height of God's love, no length, no breadth. And we will never know the depth. The highest manifestation we have seen of God's love is on the cross. St. Paul reminds us in Romans chapter 5, verses 6 to 8, Jesus loved us when we were yet sinners. It is difficult for somebody to die for somebody else because all of us have a powerful life instinct. But St. Paul says a person may be ready sometimes to die for another one if that person is a good one. So I may be ready to die for a good person. A mother or father may be ready to die for their daughters, for their sons. But it is difficult, he says, 
to die for somebody who is a wicked person. And this wicked, the, the most difficult work, the most difficult thing God, Jesus has done for us. He has died on the cross. And all, every follower of Jesus will have to embrace such cross. This mission which Jesus has and the mission that he is going to accomplish will be accomplished through his suffering and death. And every follower of Jesus will have to embrace this cross, this death. So, therefore, Jesus says, enter through the narrow gate. If you want to follow my, me, take up your cross and follow me. Deny yourself and follow me. So, Jesus has promised not only bed of roses, that there will be joy of following me, but also there will be cost of discipleship. So this is a second dimension of the mission of Jesus. And third, he says he has come to bring division. Those who stand for Christ will have to face confrontation. People are going to come in conflict with you. This in spirituality we call a prophetic mysticism. Prophet who does not speak a word, his only presence will disturb the evil one. This prophet will, will not have to use words like how in the Nineveh, in Nineveh, prophet, went, prophet Jonah went and proclaimed a powerful message. Only 40 days and 40 nights. If you don't mend your ways, you'll be destroyed. And people heard that message. They took seriously and they changed their ways. Jesus says, uh, this time is different. There will be many who will reject your message. And it will start from the family. Therefore, the division, he talks about the division. Father against the son, son against the father, and all other relationships. You see that when somebody calls you in the family, if there is one person who is carrying negative energy, will disturb the peace of the whole family. A mother or father calls somebody for rosary. This is a Marian month. The person says, I don't want to come. I'm busy with some work, assignment, project. I have to talk to somebody. So there's a fight there because of prayer. And people who believe and trust in the power of the Lord, they will have to stand firm. Sometimes we speak, uh, stand for the truth with courage. Even the family members don't agree with that. If I even I am alone, I stand for the truth. And therefore then there are some problems. Mother-in-law versus daughter-in-law. Mother-in-law sometimes tells, please tell your children to go for mass. Who are you to tell me? You have looked after your children, no, now they are grown up. Please don't mess up with me. Don't interfere. I know how to bring my children up. Your job is over. Please get lost. So, and the grandmother and the grandfather, who has so much concern about the granddaughters, and out of that concern, he or she expresses about the spiritual need of the children. And for that, sometimes they have to face the blunt. Or it can be ulta, daughter-in-law telling something to the mother-in-law or father-in-law. You are growing old, my dear. This does not suit you. Mother-in-law, father-in-law may not be open for that correction. Mind your business. So there are many examples that, like that we can reflect upon today. Where because of Christ to stand for his principles, there will be division. And this division is not to separate us from the love of Christ, but to bring us more closer to him. Because Jesus does not want to lose us. He will challenge us. He will disturb our peace. Prophets will arise. He will disturb our peace so that we receive that peace which comes from the Lord, not from that peace that comes from the evil one. That peace, the evil one will say, so everything is okay. Everything is okay with you. When everything seems to be okay, Jesus will disturb our peace. 
because that peace is not his peace. And therefore, my dear friends, for a disciple, it is very important to understand that your own, very own may disown you when you stand up for him. Your very own may say, bye-bye, Tata. I don't want to follow your ways. Like Prophet Jeremiah had to face, his very own, the people from Anathoth were plotting against him, were discussing how to kill him. So every disciple has to be prepared for this mission. Mission to accomplish that fire and that zeal and that passion. Mission which involves suffering and death and mission which will bring disturbance. May the Lord help us to accomplish his mission to be faithful servants. For the preparation of the gifts, let us sing the hymn, United in One Body, hymn number B9, page 69. Hymn number B9. United in one body with Jesus Christ the Lord, we bring to you our offering of bread and wine, O Lord. We are the wheat of Christ. If we be ground in the mill of life, may we be found pure bread. United in one body with Jesus Christ the Lord, we bring to you our offering of bread and wine, O Lord. We are the grape of Christ. If we be crushed in the wine dress of suffering, may we be found pure wine. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, may the Lord, Lord accept, accept the sacrifice at your hands, at your hands for the praise for the and glory, and glory of, his of His name, for, for our, our good and the good, good of all His holy, holy Church. Grant us, Lord, we pray, a sincere respect for your gifts, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you and, and with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We we'll lift them, them up, up to, the Lord. to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right and, and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices we pray join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At that time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, 
take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Philip Neri our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with Saint Joseph Vaz, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us look at each other as we exchange the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm Lord, I'm not, not worthy, worthy that, that you should enter under, under my roof. roof. But, but only say, say the word, word and, my and my soul, soul shall, shall be healed. Spiritual Communion Prayer 
by Jesus I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament of the altar I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into myself since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally come at least spiritually into my heart I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you never permit me to be separated from you amen let us sing the hymn god is good to me hymn number d96 page 140 d96 god is good to me oh what love i see jesus as a lamb was me he delivered me cleansed and set me free lord of no all he rose again now i live yet not i jesus is alive in me sending the spirit's flame into my heart again god has poured his love on me now i live yet no time jesus is alive in me sending the spirit's flame into my heart again god has poured is love on me let us pray grant o lord we pray that benefiting from participation in heavenly things we may be helped by what you give in this present age and prepared for the gifts that are eternal to Christ our lord amen today we are going to have confirmation students from karanjalem for the retreat today and tomorrow let us pray for them the lord be with you and, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit may almighty god bless you the father and the son and the holy spirit amen go forth to proclaim the good news of the lord Thanks, Thanks be to, to God. God. For the recession, let us sing the hymn. Give me joy, hymn number N nine, page two hundred and eighty six. Hymn number N nine. We shall sing the second verse. Give me all in my lamb. Give me burning. Give me all in my lamb. I pray. Give me all in my lamb. Give me burning. Keep me burning till the end of day. Come on and sing, O sun, sing, O sun, sing, O sun, to the King of Kings. Come on and sing, O sun, sing, O sun, sing, O sun, to the King.